Hello everyone and welcome to the Restoration Shaman Changes and Reworks for Battle for Azeroth Alpha. Since this is the first healing guide I'm doing, I'll be going through the dungeon talents, which are best for dungeons, so 1 to 5 targets healing. And then I'll be going through the raid talents, which I think are best. I've uh, started with Restoration Shaman due to the fact that I mained it in Nighthold and Thick Progression and in a bit of TOS with it. So I'm... Um, I'm more eager to see the changes on Restoration Shaman. Although some some were needed, but I think it was more they needed to be nerfed more than buffed, because I think they were one of the strongest healers in overall in the whole of Legion. Druids had their times, priests had their times, but I think Resto Shaman is just overall has been just the best. So I'll go through the changes in the talents and then see if there's any returning spells. So for the first talent tree. There's not been much change apart from Torrent is now 30% initial heal instead of 40. But you didn't really ever take Torrent anyway, so you, this isn't really a big change for you. Unleash Life, it's the same, but your next direct heal is increased by 45%. <clears throat> I don't like taking this in any instance really, because it's just an extra spell to click for Shaman. Whereas you have to have keep track of so many things as a Shaman healer, it's just a good thing just not to have. Especially for people starting off as a uh, as Shaman healer. So I just take Undulchen, just use the fact that it's just it's just really good. Like usually after you've used Healing Wave two more times on the same target, and if they're still taking big damage, you can just use your Healing Surge on them and just get them topped off really, really quickly and increase that healing. So for your next talents, Windrush, Grace for Spirit, and Gust of Wind. This is the same as it was in Legion. I always take Gust of Wind on most fights due to the fact I like the, uh, the Disengage playing Hunter and Boomkin to the disengage is really really good but on other fights with lots of movement you may want Grace for Spirit due to the fact that it reduces the time on Spirit Walker's Grace which obviously allows you to cast a move which is obviously really really good <coughs> you don't really ever want to be taking Windrush you've got to you got to make the DPS um, Shamans take Windrush because Grace for Spirit is just too good because you can heal on the move next one Static Charge this has been added to all Shaman specs where Reduce the cooldown on capacity totem by 5 seconds for each enemy it stuns, up to a maximum of 20. I don't take that, um, and earth grab's been added as well, so they both do the same thing. But I take spirit wolf, due to the fact that it was the artifact trait, which shamans had. With while transforming to ghost wolf, you gain 5% movement speed and 5% damage reduction. So if you're in here for, for 4 seconds at least, you're going to be getting 20% reduced damage and speed, which is just obviously really, really good. So I always take that. Um, next one is Crashing Waves, which is the same, but there's been a massive change since Legion. In Legion, you'd get two effects of your um, Tidal Waves, which uh, increase the cast time and the healing of your Healing Wave and Healing Surge. But now it's just been changed so that the effect it gives is increased by 10%. So now Crashing Waves is just not viable at all. I don't think they'll be changing that 10% to 50% in the future, but it's just not, not viable at all. Earth Shield. Some people like this, but I really don't like taking this due to the fact that tanks in, in BFA aren't taking that much damage. Like they're they're mostly got good self heals. So I take Deluge, which is the same as it is in um, Legion, but it's chain heals heal for additional 20% on targets with your healing rain or affected by your Riptide. So the way you want to do this is always put your healing rain on top of the melee, so that the tank and the melee are getting your um, are inside your healing rain, so they're going to take they're going to get more healing from Deluge. And if there's any ranged outside of your um, healing rain, you want to give them a Riptide, so they're getting the effect as well. So therefore, if you use, if you use your healing rain here, and you've got, a, you've got a Riptide on this guy, you can chain heal all of these guys for really big heals, especially tied in with Deluge, which is just really, really good. So now to get on to the other talents. Ancestral Vigor. Target your heal with healing wave, healing surge, chain heal, or riptides, initial heal, gain 10%, increased health for 10 seconds. So this is this is the same as it was in Legion. And at the start of Legion, this was really good, tied in with the artifact weapon, where you could basically give a tank 20% increased health, so they didn't have to use defensive. But yeah, that stayed the same. I'm not really interested in this one. It's more these two. So Urban Wall Totem, some of the totem with 14k health, and it just protects allies. Um, 14k health is approximately the health of a, a DPS or a healer not a tank, tanks have around 40k 30k but I always take Ancestral Protection Totem due to the fact 
this is probably, in my opinion, one of the most overpowered spells in the game. Due to the pure fact that you can cheese so many tactics with this totem. Like, with a tank dying and them using the totem, or just... If someone, if a DPS soaks a whole load of whatever it is on a boss fight and they just use the ancestral protection totem to res, it's just crazy, crazy good. So I think over Urban Wolf, this just has to be taken. Although it's got a five minute cooldown, you can just use that on the boss and it's, it's GG. I think in the future they might nerf this and make it so that when someone uses the reincarn of the totem, your reincarn goes down as well. Because just imagine you have this, so you're reincarning someone and you also have your own reincarn. It's just two extra CRs. And especially in Legion, when they changed it so that CRs are coming more and more harder to get kind of thing. And don't allow people to um, kind of bypass mechanics with a simple CR. So I think that might be changed in the future. So next talent, there's Bottomless Depths. Which is Resurgence always triggers when you heal a target below 60% health. You don't really want to take this due to the fact that people shouldn't be below 60% health if you're a Shaman healer and you're doing things correctly. So it's not really that useful. Cloudburst, it was good in Legion, but I just don't... It, especially now it replaces healing stream totem which is like it's one of your main heals healing stream totem if you're using it if you're using it correctly and using it on cd all the time cloud burst is just not useful um you want to take echo of elements due to the fact you get more healing streams and more riptides when you get more riptides um like it's just easier to cast spells so what you want to mainly be doing is using a um Using a Riptide and then healing up the target and keeping Riptide always up on the tank and another DPS. Especially with Echo of Elements, so it means you can get two Riptides off on two targets. So see these two are just healing passively now. And especially because I have two Riptides, it means more targets can benefit from Deluge. So say if we had two melee and two ranged. So the melee and the, t the tank and the uh, melee would be inside the healing range, so they benefit from Deluge. And then I could heal the ranged, both the ranged with Riptides, so they'd benefit from Deluge. Um, so for your last talent, it's really down to you, but all I'd recommend is never take Wellspring. Due to the fact that it does so much mana for so little healing, it is just not worth it. If you use this, you'll see that your mana is just dipping so, so much. Whereas if you cast a quick Ascendant, it's going to do like 10 times the healing Wellspring is going to do. You're going to be healing people full health. If you pop Ascendant and you're using a Healing Surge on a target... And they're just going to heal everyone for so much. And especially with the healing tide and stuff like that. You're just going to be healing way more than the wellspring. And you're going to be using way, way less mana. You can also take chain heal if you want. But the only thing is about um, this. Is you're going to have to be using chain heal a lot, lot more. And chain heal is quite a mana intensive spell. So you just want to use ascendance. Because it's going to help you mana wise. And if you're in a dungeon. And a boss is doing some burst damage. Or an ad's doing some burst damage. You can just pop ascendance and... No one's really going to die if you're just, if you're just spamming um, your healing surges. So that's what I take for um, dungeons, just due to the fact that they, when you're getting your healing streams down, it's going to be healing all the targets. You can riptide loads of range, so they'd benefit from deluge as well. And you're just using chain heal on targets just now and then. If everyone if everyone's low, you're just using chain heal on them. And don't fray away from using a healing surge on a target just to keep them up. Like... Healing Surge is not that mana intensive, and especially when you have um, Undulation, you just want to be using Healing Surge, because it's literally going to heal 4k crit there, that's half someone's HP, so it's really, really good. So now for um, for your AoE, so AoE healing, so raid healing, you want to be taking an Undulation again, just due to the fact that it's going to help you just burst healing a target if someone's low if the dps is low you can just quickly burst heal them with a healing surge which has your buff right now healing surge and 4k crit so that's half the hp next you want to take i always take um graceful spirit for raids due to the fact that my spirit walk is grace coming off cooldown quicker and i can cast a move and i can keep up in the hps with all the other healers because obviously a lot of healers can cast a move such as druids with trank and whatever so graceful spirit is just really really good um Next one you want to take is Spirit Wolf again, just due to the fact that if a defensive come in, you can just go in Spirit Wolf and Astral Shift as well, and you're basically unkillable. So the 40% damage reduction and the 20%, that's 60% damage reduction. You pretty much aren't going to die with in Spirit Wolf and Astral Shift. Um, and for your next one, you want to take um, Deluge again, due to the fact that you're going to have a lot, a lot of melee inside your healing rain. So you're going to be getting full use out of your healing rain by healing the melee. And especially if you chain heal on a tank, if you target the tank first, 
You're going to heal both tanks because the chain hill will bounce off each other and it will heal some of the melee. So it's just really, really good all round for you. And your next one, you want to take Ancestral Protection again, just because it you, you can use it on a tank if a tank's about to die. If a tank wants to choose a tactic and take too many stacks, I think, put that down and they're rezzed. No, no harm done. You've saved a CR and you, you're good. And now what you want to take is Cloudburst Totem. Due to the fact that, that that is just seals so much on all the raid. It's just crazy. Put that down and it will just distribute all your healing. And if you want to use Ascendance as well in raids, if you like Ascendance. Um, for, so for the bottom one, all you want to do is not take Wellspring, like I said. But take Ascendance or High Tide, whatever, whichever you want. But especially tied in with Cloud Burst. If you put down your Cloud Burst and your um, Healing Tide Totem, which is healing everyone for 40 yards. And your Ascendance. You're literally just going to heal everyone up to full. So you can leave a Shaman on a healing on just its own healing rotation. Like on Sisters of the Moon in um, the Tomb of Sargeras. If this, if this was in BFA, you could literally leave a Shaman to itself. So put down the Cloudburst, Ascendance, Healing Tide. And just spam in your Healing Surges and Spirit Walker's Grace. And just non-stop casting and moving. And you're just going to be healing everyone for loads. Because your Healing Surge is going to be distributed. And your Cloudburst is just... Hit, sucking up all the healing and then just going to explode everyone and the whole raid will be full and your HPS will be going pretty insane so I think at the start of um, BFA especially restos are going to be really 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 strong just because all of their spells they've, they've not had much changed but I think in the future they'll see that especially now that the champs still have link and it's still as, as, as good as it was it's just so so insane like if you don't take a resto shaman you're really going to be um, behind in the raiding so I think, yeah, Rest of Shaman's one of the best healers in BFA, if not the best. Anyway, like and subscribe if you want more guides, and comment if you think I've missed out anything, and I'll reply to you as much as possible. See you in the next